Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel and well, to another Audi video. It's quite hard to believe that I've gone in the space of a few weeks from never even owning an Audi to now having well, the majority of my videos in the last few weeks being around Audis. But today is for a special reason because I've teamed up with Audi UK and we're going over to the Nürburgring 24 hour race. Now, this is amazing because the Nürburgring is one of my favorite places in the entire world. Uh, I'm massively into F1, but racing in general. And this weekend, there's gonna be the opportunity to get right up close, not to F1, but potentially an even more exciting sport. 24 hours around the Nürburgring. That includes nighttime, of course. It's gonna be wild. But anyway, this is my chariot for the weekend. It's an Audi RS Q8. So I've had the SQ8 before, but this is the beefier, bigger, better, and more powerful brother. And uh, what well, I have to say, just driving it down here, this morning, although very juicy, in fact, averaging around 22 miles per gallon, even at 70 miles an hour, it's extremely comfortable. And to be honest, there's a couple of the other cars that are coming alongside me on the trip right here. And the RS Q3, fantastic. The S8, a good cruiser, but actually, I have to say out of these three at least, this is probably the one I'd want to be in. It's great, I absolutely love it. I love the commanding driving position. It reminds me of a Range Rover, which is just my favorite thing in the entire world. But then it's deceiving because you put your foot down and there's near as makes no difference. 600 horsepower under your right foot. Anyway, so this is gonna be a fantastic weekend. Got a few minutes now to probably grab a quick coffee before we board the Eurotunnel and drive to the Nürburgring. I come and go like a ride. Okay, so now that we're on the Euro Tunnel, the next place we're going to drive is obviously France. So we need to change to the metric system. So go in here, change to kilometers an hour, kilometers, temperature, Fahrenheit. And now on here, obviously we have the kilometers an hour display. And because we're in an RSQ8, it's huge in here. And wait, I got up at four o'clock this morning, I'm very tired. So I'm gonna use this sort of 40 minutes we're on here to have a bit of a kip. Uh, so I'm wondering the back, looks like it's a pretty comfortable place to be but i reckon it's going to be a case of reclining this seat as much as possible then we can actually move the steering wheel away from us oh it's already pretty comfortable actually oh yeah oh wow it's still going <laughs> this is like one of those flat beds you get on a plane it's literally i'm basically completely flat here and my legs can go all the way out and i can stretch all the way out this way as well this is a great place to spend 40 minutes with nothing to do so I'm going to stay here definitely and I'll catch up with you once we get across the channel and we're in France. So we've now entered the beautiful country of Holland. I've never actually been this way to the Nürburgring before. Uh, normally you go through Belgium, past Brussels and then down sort of to Liège and then straight into Germany from there. However, we've sort of gone a bit more northerly today. So we're just in that sort of last U of Holland. So just left Belgium into Holland and then we'll enter Germany by Maastricht. But anyway, as expected, the RSQA is a fantastic cruiser. And I just keep thinking about later on, when we get to the hotel, we're gonna check in and then we're gonna go down, get some media accreditation and then go and see the track because there's all sorts of qualifying, I think, and um, practicing happening this evening. And then the race itself starts at 4 p.m. tomorrow and then ends at 4 p.m. the following day. So what I'm really excited about is just to see some nighttime action. I mean, if you've ever visited the Nürburgring, the Nordschleife, the Green Hell, you'll know what I mean when I say it's such a incredible place. It's this weaving, undulating, steep, shallow, can be narrow, can be wide, piece of tarmac that goes around a forest, through villages, and it's incredible enough in the daytime. I can only imagine what it's gonna be like at nighttime with Le Mans style cars flying around at full chat. It's gonna be incredible. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd just check in quickly with you guys just to update you. It's been a great journey. Uh, I'm most excited, obviously, to get into Germany, which will be any minute now, because, of course, in Germany, there are sections of their motorway with no speed limits. And I 
want to take this thing up to the limiter and see what it can do. Not really put my foot down in this thing yet. I've not really had the chance to or the, or the need to. So, anyway, I'll uh, let you see what happens when we get to Germany. Hopefully we can do a few top speed runs and then I'll probably check in with you later when we get to the hotel. Right then, back in my favorite place. I'm gonna pop the car into RS mode. Actually, I'm gonna put it into dynamic. And uh, got the big displays up here. We're on Autobahn right now and there's no speed limit, so let's see what we can do. And that is incredibly fast. Right, 200 kilometers an hour, fifth gear, 210, 220, 230, 240, into sync, got two more gears to go, 250, 255, and a van pulling out on us. Oh dear. Well, 255 indicated, that is 155 miles per hour, just like that. It's quite, it's, it's incredible that this car is the size that it is. I think it's closer to three tons than it is two yet we can just propel ourselves like that. That was sixth gear, I think, or fifth gear even, at the top of the revs at 255. So this thing's a eight speed. So I think unrestricted, theoretically, the ratios would probably just allow, allow this to go almost 200 miles an hour. That's wild. Today is race day here for the N24. 24 hours of racing around not only the Nordschleife, but the GP circuit as well. It's incredible. Yesterday we arrived and we got to go and find the locations we've been able to view the race from. Spoke to a couple of the drivers, saw the Audi R8 LMS car, which looked amazing, although unfortunately they've only qualified in fifth, but we'll see how it goes today. So it's now, just gone midday, the race starts at four o'clock. I'm just driving myself over to the car park. And then what I wanna do is try and get into the pit lane or at least above the pit lane for when the race starts at four. And then it's 24 hours until four o'clock tomorrow. The plan is also then in the early hours of the morning to find a spot on the track where they're coming past really fast or maybe even somewhere like the carousel and just watch them going around sort of through the middle of the night. I think it's going to be an absolutely incredible experience. Well, how insane is this? This is bucket list for me in the pit lane. The classic race just finished and it's now only just over an hour until the start of the 24 hour race. And we're walking through the pit lane. This is absolutely insane. And here are Audi's entrance, the R8 LMS cars. They look absolutely incredible. I can see four of them at the moment. And uh, yeah, this is what we're here to cheer on this weekend. Okay, and if walking in the pit lane wasn't cool enough, now, despite all the noise, we are on the grid, we're on the track, we're on the starting line of this 24 hour race, which in literally less than an hour, all of these cars are gonna be flying up here. I, I still can't get over it for 24 hours. Anyway, I always watch the F1 and watch the grid walks and think I would love to do that. And I know this isn't the F1, but this is pretty damn close. This is very cool. Very busy as well. So the 24 hour race started right on queue at 4 p.m. and we had the most fantastic view from the hospitality suite in the pit lane. However, fellow YouTuber Joe Achilles wanted to show us a much better viewing spot. <laughs> and took us to the second to last corner for sunset where we got ultra close to these cars coming around the track at, I don't know, 110, 120 miles an hour, right on the limit.
I can categorically say I've never experienced anything quite like this. And in fact, the entire Nürburgring area, the entire forest, turns into a huge party and a huge event during the N24. And then we made it all the way over to the carousel at night, which is such a famous part of the track. And to be able to sit there and watch the flames come out of the exhaust as the stars were up above me was, well, bucket list. Watching the racing was absolutely breathtaking. I will genuinely never forget that experience and I hope to be back again next year. I've absolutely loved every second of this 24 hour race. It's a fantastic thing. I must get to Le Mans, but also I must come back here every year if I can. Unfortunately, two of the fastest Audis last night did uh, spin on some oil and had to leave the race, unfortunately. Okay, so after what's been an incredible trip here in Germany with Audi UK, uh, it's time to head home. There's the R8 of Matt Watson's R8 being started up right next to me. That sounds so good, those V10s. We'll really miss them when they're not making them anymore. But anyway, yeah, drive back to the UK now. Um, it was an absolutely unreal experience being here, really an absolute bucket list, really. Um, never seen anything like it, and I hope I'll see something like it again. Seeing all of those cars driving around last night, middle of the night, at high speed, was remarkable. So I do always say this when I'm here in Germany, but if you've never been to the Nürburgring or the general area, you must, because it's absolutely stunning. I mean, even if you're not here for the, the track itself, just the scenery, I'm sure you can see out the window, is absolutely breathtaking. And the roads are, are the same. It just never feels right to put your foot down in this car. It should not move like that. You ready for this? Let's do a little bit of a tunnel run in here. Down into first gear. We're in RS mode. And here we go. <laughs> wow, what a sound. So as I've been hinting at in previous uploads, I'm probably coming back here in a couple of weeks and we all know what in. It's a very red car that I may have recently acquired for not very much money. That's the plan anyway. And we'll see if we can get it here and if we can do some laps on the Nürburgring. I would absolutely love to take that around the track and also take Charlie around the track for his first ever Nürburgring experience. It would be absolutely fantastic to do that. So do stay tuned and subscribe if you're not already, especially if you're liking the stuff with the TT because there's gonna be more. Thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you've made it this far. And I look forward to seeing you all in the near future very, very soon. I come and go like a rah, rah, rah. They don't want the two big